Hey, you guys, I want to show you something that is really super important to understand, okay? Um, because when you understand and you know this, then if you know this, then this should move you to do what is in your power and authority um, to come up against wickedness and evil, right? For the saving of lives, for the salvation of souls, for the advancement of the kingdom of Christ. And the almighty power that you have is the most mighty, most glorious power, the power of the name of Jesus Christ that is above every principality. It is above every power. It is above every power of sin and death and iniquity. Now, I want to show you something. Um, this is uh, what is called modern day witchcraft and the reason the reason why they do this now you guys when 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 these people do this they don't they don't know that it is witchcraft they are being moved they are being energized and motivated moved by a spirit that is not from the holy spirit that is not a good spirit and they're being moved by an antichrist spirit an evil spirit so that they can spread wickedness. Now, I want to show you real quick. Okay, watch this. <clears throat> okay, so it's very simple and it seems very silly and benign, right? Um, this this lady said, or this politician or whatever, she says, what Kamala Harris is to do. And she does this thing and she says, we just have to turn the page. Now, the reason why the enemy motivates and energizes people to do that is because they want people to see, right? People um, to see those, that thing, and they want them to start doing that. Okay. They want them to start making that gesture, saying that thing, doing that motion, right? And saying that thing that is attached to it, turning the page, because that which they, because the more that people do that, the more energy that the enemy can use. And he wants to turn, he wants to come up against um, what the Lord is calling the people who he's going to put in power and authority. Um, uh, in this case, it would be President Trump. And he wants to manifest witchcraft to get him to not be elected, to um, to skip over that that portion, um, that purpose, right? And the way that you it's it's possible to do that is through witchcraft and through people joining together in the earth to manifest the power to come up against things. And in the past, you guys, when the when the children of God weren't where they are spiritually, when people didn't do a lot of praying, um, the enemy was very successful in, in doing these sorts of things, okay? And that's why he is doing this again. Um, but, um, God's plan is ultimately going to prevail, but that does not mean you guys that, um, that we are not to stand in the gap to use our power and the authority of the almighty name of Jesus Christ to come up against this witchcraft, to come up against these evil powers. Okay. That is God's, that is God's will. That's his desire for each and every one of us to use the almighty power of the kingdom and come up against that witchcraft and pray that the truth, right? Loose the power of truth upon the hearts of the people. So this type of witchcraft is also used, you guys, this same type of spirit works in the hearts of uh, people in power and position and authority in NASA and, and government agencies where they're trying to come up against these asteroids and these comets, okay? Like the one they tried to deflect that... Um, that asteroid, um, because what those asteroids and those comets, what they symbolized was an anointing, a blessing. Come, those are the signs in the stars. Okay, you guys, if there's going to be, I know that they say, oh, they're worried about an asteroid hitting the Earth, and in their minds, they are, but. 
what they're doing is they're being used by the enemy to and they're trying to manifest this witchcraft to come up against what God is doing, okay? To come up against the blessing, the will and the desire of the Lord. And um, you guys, it's like, remember when they were building Babel and the Lord said, they're all of one mind and one accord. If we don't, if, if we don't stop them now, there'll be nothing that they cannot do when so many people, okay. Yes. God is almighty and all powerful. And at the same time in this world, there's laws, there's things that are, um, there's a uh, divine and physical laws that are in place. Okay. And um, when, when people band together and they come together in unison, they can create a power to come up against these things. And yes, God can um, overpower any, there's nothing too great is for the Lord, right? He is all powerful and almighty, but we must do our part and do what the Lord desires us to do and has called us to do and come up against these things. And um, just like Brother Patrick said um, in his latest video, there's actually a comment that is coming by you guys that's called uh, Donald something. And, and he got this revelation that the Lord is calling us to pray for President Trump. So I'm urging you guys, you guys come up against this witchcraft because what we're going to see now, now that this lady did this, uh, this this gesture and said we want to turn the page that is witchcraft that is coming up against God's plan and will and we you guys need to stand up and use our power and authority bind that witchcraft in Jesus name and pray for the advancement of the kingdom and God's will to be done and and that his will his purpose his plan for Donald Trump would be fulfilled and be made manifest in Jesus mighty name i love you guys so much god bless each and every one of you amen